Welcome to MBG Moves. I'm Helen Phelan, creator of Helen Phelan Studio. And today I have a lower body workout focused on strengthening the glutes, opening the hips, and even improving your core stability. Let's get into it. From a standing position, you're gonna get into your lunge by stepping your left leg forward, getting this knee right over the ankle, and trying to shorten your foot. So rather than collapsing your foot in or out, you're gonna use the muscles of the very arched bottom of your foot and try to hug the floor in. Slight tuck in your pelvis here, so you feel a little opening in this right hip flexor, and you're pulling your left butt back, your right hip forward. My spine is in line with that long, with that left leg, with that right leg, so I have one long line from the top of my head to the tip of my tail. With about 90% of your weight in that front leg, tap the back knee in, and then tap it back out again. Inhale in, and exhale out. Watching that you're not rocking front and back. In fact, the fact that we are drawing the arch up and off the floor is gonna make your balance feel a little wonky if you're not used to paying attention to your foot alignment. So if you feel a little wobbly, that's totally normal. I also feel a little wobbly. But the more bend you keep in that left knee, the more glute, the more glute sensation you're gonna feel on that left side reaching out long and folding it back in. Try not to let your head feel heavy, but rather look on the forward diagonal, not so much that your chin just out in front of you, but enough that you're keeping a separation from chin and chest. Extending that back leg one more time. You're gonna keep this bend in the front leg the entire time, but give me a bend in the back leg as well. Coming back up to that start position, only the back leg straightens. Inhaling to bend and exhaling to straighten. I want you to think of pushing the floor away with the left heel as you come up. So we have two different directions of energy happening. The chest, the body's lifting, but the heel is digging into the floor. <sighs> Maintaining some sort of bend on that left knee. <sighs> the lower, the better. We're here for three. Two, can you wrap the core in each time you stand up to help improve your balance? And last time, come on up and stay. This back leg stays still, the front leg stays still. Keeping your spine neutral, hinge your chest forward as you inhale, and exhale, bring it back up. So notice that I didn't round forward and I didn't arch on my way down. Keep those ribs the same distance from your hips, whether you're down or up. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. Like I said, you might feel a little wobbly. That's how our balance gets better, moving through it. Try to imagine a little tripod underneath the sole of your foot. Big toe, pinky toe, and heel of the foot. Evenly pressing into all corners of that triangle. Maintaining your flat back and trying not to twist your hips in either direction. One more time, lifting the chest and keeping it there, you're gonna lift the left heel up and off the ground. Rise to your tippy toes and press the floor away. So you are gonna feel your calf and ankle of that front leg, of course. But the heat in your left glute is definitely cranking up with each of these repetitions. As the heel lowers, gravity is not pulling it to the ground. Instead, you're pushing the ground away, similar to our chest lift. Can you squeeze through the back leg for a little bit more support? We have just three more. I promise I'll give you a nice stretch before we hit the other side. If you can lift that heel, lift it up, keeping it lifted the entire time. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Reach your arms on a high diagonal without shifting your torso or the foot. Lift the arms up and lower the arms down. Inhaling up. Shaking is a good thing. Shaking means things are learning and growing. Keep those ribs closed as the arms go up. Rather than arching the back, keep those abs involved. Give me two. And one. Before lowering that heel and stepping up. You might feel a little shaky. You can shake that leg out a little bit. Then take left ankle, cross it over the right thigh, and fold over into a standing figure four stretch letting a little counter stretch into those rotators, into the very back of your hip. Let tension in your head go, shake the head no. Shake it, yes. 
Maybe bend that knee a little bit more so you can sit deeper into the stretch. If this isn't available to you, you can do a seated figure four stretch. If your balance is just saying, nope, not today. And then carefully come back up to standing. Let's do it one more time to get even. Stepping your right foot forward, your left leg back, keeping this right knee over the right ankle, and hands can be back at your hips once again. Stepping left leg front, left leg back, without shifting your weight. You might feel a little asymmetrical because we just really fatigued side one, but we're working more and more towards balance with each of these repetitions. Remember, a long neck, pressing the back of your head into an imaginary wall behind you, not letting it droop down, not jutting it forward. Inhale front, exhale back. Making sure this right hip is not twisting forward. You're cranking it back so those hips are square to the front of your mat. Maybe give me a little more sit in that lunge. And then press that back leg back. This knee will always be bent as you bend through the back leg. Come down low, exhale, push the floor away to come back to the lunge. Inhale down, exhale, lift it up. Give me a little shoulder roll back and down here so your chest remains open. As we get really tired and as we start to focus on all those details elsewhere in the body, sometimes we get into this position. So check back in with your posture. And I want you really pressing the heel into the floor. You'll feel the difference when you kind of just mindlessly bounce up and down, or when you let yourself sink on the inhale, exhale actively pushing away from the ground. It's a totally different sensation. One more time, lifting yourself up, staying lifted. Now the front knee stays bent, squeeze through both butts. You're gonna lower your chest forward and lift it back up. Remember, we're not spreading the ribs away from the hips. We're keeping the same distance down and up. If I were to round, I would be shortening the distance. If I were arching, I'd be increasing the distance. So just think about a magnet gently hugging the ribs both together, but also down into your hips, into your front pockets. <sighs> Keeping the core active so we don't lose our balance and so we protect our spine. Shoulders back and down. Woo. Last three. We're getting ready for our releves or our heel raises on that front leg. Lift your chest up once more, keep it lifted. Front heel lifts up as you inhale, push the floor down as you exhale. Like I said, you're gonna feel a little shaky, that's the whole point. Inhale down, up, exhale, down. Let those shoulders release away from your ears, you don't need that tension. Focusing on where you can be soft and where you need to be contracting. So glute, hamstring, calves, ankles, core, you did not say neck or shoulders. For two, and one, lift that heel up. The fun part, arms are up, arms are down. Keep your front knee over that front ankle, sweeping up without shrugging the shoulders. Do you see all this shake? Make sure you're breathing. Last three. Two. Last time. Lower the heel, step it together. Oh, you've never been so thankful for a stretch in your life. Shake it out and take right ankle, cross it over that left thigh, and we hang over the legs. Let's keep this foot flexed. It's just much nicer on your knee. And of course, the more you bend your standing leg, the deeper into that hip stretch you are gonna sink and the more release you're gonna get. Give yourself one last little shake, no of the head and neck, nodding it yes and then place both feet on the floor and roll it up to a standing position. And there you have it for your glute strength hip opener core stabilizer. I recommend trying that about three times a week, but it is low impact enough to do it every day if you're feeling up for it. And I can't wait to hear how it feels.